Here's the shot, you fellas. Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. What's up, everyone? This is Joe Sorrentino. Welcome to Winglet RC. So in today's video, I'm going to continue my coverage of my Arma Outcast 8S EXB Accessory Upgrade Series. And for today's video, the accessory I'm putting on today is shock boot covers. These come from Full Force RC, and there's a link in the description if you folks need one for yourself. You can find these on eBay. They are fantastic. I've got them on several other vehicles that I have, and I really like the way they look. They look this fire burst, and they're really nice because they protect those shocks from getting any dust or dirt or anything inside there. It just keeps it nice and clean, and it looks cool too. So we're gonna put them on, we're gonna see how they look. Let's go! All right, folks, here's my beauty. And here's the shock boot covers. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the body off. Now, you can approach shock boots a number of different ways. I've done them different ways. Sometimes I pull the whole shock off. Sometimes I just pull it from the bottom and slide it up. Other times I do it from the top and slide it down. I'm going to go from the top and slide it down because I really don't want to have to pull things apart too much on this. There's so much going on here. The less I have to do, the better. But you can do it whatever way you want. I have found in the past it does work better when you pull it off completely. But I just feel like it might be more trouble than it's worth getting everything on and off. So I'm going to try it this way first. Slide it down if I run into trouble we can always take it off and do it the other way so let's start there and see how this goes get a scissors cut this out there they are folks they are very nice one on each one of these so it's going to cover these up and look real good two three four comes with a sticker too full force RC great products love their stuff all right so I'm going to unscrew here's the tool that I'm going to need this is the Correct driver. This comes from my Traxxas toolkit. I always promote this on pretty much all my accessory upgrades. Best accessory package you can buy. This comes with every tool you can imagine. If you need something, it's in there. It doesn't matter if it's Traxxas, low C arm, or whatever. These things work great. Pick one up if you don't have one. Link in the description. All right, let's go ahead and use that now. I'm gonna put this on the drill. And undo it. That's all it is. I'll try just sliding them down. Trouble is, every time I pull these down, they just get stuck. It's like you got to do it in one motion sometimes, I find. There we go. We'll see what happens is if you don't get it all in one shot, you get stuck. But for the most part, that's on. There we go. It's not too bad. I think that'll work. And just try to tuck them, tuck them underneath wherever you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more though. And I'll just tuck it, tuck it under like that. Yeah, that's good. Looking good. All right, that's easy. One. First one done. Not too bad. I think, folks, that looks pretty good, huh? Nice. Next. There we go. Look at that. So far, so good. One and two done. Looking great. That one's back on now. Woo boy. Three. Look at this beauty. Four shock covers. With the fire. Put the top on. See how it looks. There we go. Yeah, 
Nice. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and smash that notification bell to stay updated on when my next video becomes available. Until then, this is Joe Sorrentino saying thanks for watching. See you on the next one.